Nanook Metal! Tuk tuk! Hello friends, my name is Nanook Metal and today I want to show you how to complete the Go Bank Heist in stealth. Doesn't matter what difficulty you're gonna do it on, if you watch this video you'll be able to complete it by yourself, or with friends, or any difficulty whatsoever, it doesn't matter. So, uh, most likely you started this heist before the GoBank, walked into the map, you're like, oh yeah, it doesn't look too difficult, there are some guards here, some cameras to deal with, a couple of civilians, you know, about 10 civilians or so, so we get the guards down, get the cameras down, get the civilians down, open the vault, just like the other bank heist, nothing too difficult. Well, I have to warn you that the GoBank heist is one of the nastiest heists in the game if you don't know how to do it. First of all, though, I want to talk about the equipment. Bring ECMs, if you can, bring the ECMs that block pagers, that will help you a lot. Bring some body bags, maybe, if you got the jack of all trades, you can bring the, EC uh, the body bags and the ECMs together. Or you can just bring the ECMs, it's fine. You can also buy body bags through assets, you can buy ammo through assets. Ammo is quite useful, you'll see why. You also need one silent weapon, and in my case it's the Judge Shotgun. Very useful because you can boost bodies with it. It might come in handy as well, but we'll see. The other weapon has to be loud, and in my case it's the saw, because I'm going to use the saw to open the deposit boxes inside of the safe. Saves you a lot of time, and you won't have a lot of time once you open up the vault. The time will be limited, you need to finish it as quickly as you can after that. And so, therefore I brought the saw as a loud weapon. But hey, if you don't have access to the saw, bring whatever loud weapon you can. And also bring Stockholm Syndrome and Basic. It's a skill in the middle subtree of the Mastermind class. Somewhere along the third or fourth tier. Get it on Basic and every time you shoot a loud weapon, that will actually suppress all of the civilians in an area around you. In my case, I'm going to use the saw. And the saw is basically every time I use, the, use it, it's going to suppress the civilians. You will see, I have a HUD mod, which will change their alert meters from red exclamation marks to blue ticks, and that, so you will know that all the civilians around me are suppressed. That HUD is available for you to download. The instructions are pretty clear. Check the description down below. I'll put a link to it. It's called Wolf HUD, otherwise just Google. Google is your friend. Anyway, let's start with the heist itself. What I'm gonna, what I can do, um, I'm going to do, I guess in this case, is that if a camera spawns outside of the bank, somewhere here, somewhere here, or the third possible location is over here, you can go ahead and break that camera. I said you can go ahead and break the camera. Most likely, more likely than not, that camera, breaking that camera, will attract a guard. We are going to have a look in a... We're going to keep an eye out on all the guards, this one in particular. I think he's going to turn around. He's gonna go outside and see what's up with that camera. And that is indeed the case. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna boost him into the corner there with the judge shotgun. You can use any shotgun, but in my opinion the judge is the best because it has the highest concealment, so you can get a very low detection risk stealth build with it. And I've boosted him into the corner out of everyone's view, so even if someone was there, they wouldn't see this guy. Of course, if you try and boost as a client, it's not quite... It's not gonna work out for you most of the time, so only attempt boosting if you are with, if you are hosting, if you are the host of the heist. Uh, one more thing that I have to mention before I go into the bank, and I know I'm wasting a lot of time, but I want to make sure that we cover all the bases. But there are a couple of things that might happen with the go bank heist. In some situations, you will get a van spawn here or a SWAT security truck, basically with two more guards. Those are Jensa guards, they have pagers, it will make it very, very difficult to solo this heist if those guys are there. You need to take out the two guards inside of the bank and respond to their pagers without alerting those two. And then you need to come out here and get their pagers, because the four pagers, you cannot respond to them by yourself. You can respond to two pagers by yourself. What you need to do is kill the two guards next to each other, suppress all the civilians, break all the cameras, and then make sure that when the ECM rush ends, you are next to those guards and respond to the first pager, which will take you like 10 seconds, and then respond to the second, because you will have a small window of opportunity to respond to that second pager. It lasts for 12 to 14 seconds or something like that. Depends how quickly it will start. It might get delayed by quite a lot. Anyway, enough talk. You can, in case the camera spawns outside, you can do what I did. Otherwise, just drop your ECM, go in, find the guard, 
Get your loud weapon and start suppressing everyone. As you can see, they are now all blue ticks. And that means they're down on the ground. They're cool. They're not going to try and run away. They're not going to try and call the police. Some new person is noticing something there. So I'm going to use my saw or my loud weapon of any kind again. And at the same time, while the ECM rush is lasting, I'm checking for all the cameras and I'm breaking them. And you may ask, hey, Nanook, you're doing this on one down. Why the hell? Are the cameras still normal? Are you tricking us? No. On GoBank Heist, as well as a few other heists, you will get normal cameras regardless of the difficulty. And as you can see, once the ECM rush is over, once the ECM pager expires, I now can respond to that pager. But if I didn't kill that second guard earlier, I would have waited. I would maybe try and highlight the guards or use the Sixth Sense, one of the skills that you can get. As you can see, it highlights anything around you in the area if you don't do anything for three seconds. But uh, if that second guard was a come on there we go get down get down cool good see everyone's cool so easy so easy with the stockholm syndrome this has become so much more manageable let's tie everyone up i usually tie all the office workers because they might drop a key card let's have a look no key card i'm next going to check for this say uh, for the suitcase the suitcase does have a key card in it in this time and there should be another manager somewhere. There he is. So I'm gonna waste my, one of my zip ties on him. Sometimes he will spawn or drop the key card. But this time, because it was in the suitcase, that means that he's not gonna have it. That means one of these bastards has a key card. There we go. You can't really see it, but you will see the prompt that will allow you to pick it up. And because I'm using the Stockholm Syndrome basic, I don't have to kill anyone. I can just I can just keep doing this every minute or so and everyone will be cool. You have to make sure that you use your loud weapon with the Stockholm Syndrome before. Oh, see that? Before the civilian starts running. Because if they start running, you have to then manually shout them down. Uh-huh. Um, well, you have to shout them down manually before the Stockholm Syndrome will work again. Otherwise, they just start running and they will try and call the police and you try to use your loud weapon, it's not gonna work. At that point, if they start running away, unless you were able to react like I did earlier with that guy in the gas station, then uh, just shoot them. It doesn't matter if you lose a little bit of money, you're better off losing money than losing the heist. One thing that you will need to do while the time lock is active, and it will last for like three minutes, oh, I think five minutes actually, is respond to the phones. And there we go, the phone has called. And if you have a buddy, you can assign this role to him. He can just sit on the phone. And uh, mo mo most likely you'll get just some random phrases. But you need to keep an eye out for two phone calls. Two very important phone calls. One of them is Hillary that will call from Gensec. The other... Come on, guys. Just get down. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, the other will be a random guy who will try and blackmail you. He will say that he knows what you are up to. And if you don't throw a bag to him, then he will call the cops on you. At that point, with the first bag that you bag, you need to bring it over here. Let's get those people down. You need to bring it to this fence here, to this wall, and throw it over the wall. Once you do that, you can then secure the other bags without any problem. And you can get the hell out of here. I'm only gonna go for one bag today because I, I just need to complete this. I don't really care about the money or anything like that. But uh, of course, if you have a friend, then uh, getting more loot out will be a lot more easier. Because while you're in there behind lasers, if you're doing this on... Oh, this is that important phone call. Okay, I'll, I'll get back to the vault. All right, this is not very good because Hillary from Gensec is, uh, has called and she's not very happy. She's going to, to uh, get some more guards in. I'll show you how to respond to them. It's very important to time this well. It's very important that you make sure that all the civilians are suppressed. You may have seen earlier that some of the civilians started to get up. They kind of got cocky and tried to uh, call the cops. But I ground my saw against the ground or something physical. And that actually makes it a little bit louder. It increases its range. So you can do that in case you're very far away. And you are not... Oh, let's get those guys down. And I'm going to start responding to 
the pagers. That's my first pager. So like I said, in the start of the heist, you might have to do this. You might have to respond to two, or four, two pagers at the time. If you kill the first guard, respond to his pager, and then you kill the second guard. Uh, after the first guard's pager starts, you will have enough time to respond. Even though this was about to expire, I still had enough time to respond to it. Let's get this guy suppressed. He almost doesn't want to do that, but sometimes they won't react if they're around the corner like that. And keep an eye out for them. Maybe you'll have to drop an ECM down, or maybe they'll just disappear. And that happened in that case, since he was around the corner. He was in that zone where civilians might despawn or spawn. But in that case, he spawned there and then he despawned because he was stuck in that area. And uh, that, that's good for me, less civilians to worry about. Right now I'm kind of running around again, making sure that everyone is cool because in the next few seconds, I will have to go into the vault and I'll need time because I won't be able to go through the lasers very easily. Let's show you the lasers. Here they are. You can make it under the lasers if it's only if it's above the two. So you can get through. I'm waiting for that opportunity, kind of grinding my saw, making sure that everyone is chill, coming back to it. Yep, there we go. We can get through now. And there we go. You can now go through the vault if you want to. You can throw the the bags through the lasers. That's not a problem. You if you oh. Phone call. I can't get through. Ugh. That was a bit tricky. I had to jump and crouch at the same time. It was very dangerous. But that's okay. I made it through. I responded to the phone call. If you don't respond to a phone call and you let it ring, you might be okay. But more than likely or not, uh, you will raise the alarm. And at this point, I can get the hell out of here. I can come back if I want to. I can get more loot. Because now at any point if I want, even if the heist goes loud, I can escape. Because I secured my one bag. And you only need to secure the one bag. But again, I, I can't go back. I don't really want to. I'm just going to get out of here. If you need more money and if you've got a buddy, then uh, do. I welcome you to go and get more loot. The other thing that you can do is you can check these ATMs here. Use either the saw or use your ECM on them. There we go. 390k on one down difficulty. That's quite a good pay. But uh, that's about it. I think I've covered pretty much everything. There's like a 1% chance that when you start the Go Bank Heist, the vault will be open from the start. You can check my video down in the description below, which covers that. One more thing that I have to mention is that this channel, Nanook Metal, is trying to come back on the Twitch streams. I am pretty much set. I've got my modem now. I have my plan already. But what I'm also running at the moment is a Patreon campaign to get my viewers to help me get Nanook channel back on Twitch. I need 70 people to support me once a month so that I can afford to buy a very fairly expensive internet plan because my current internet connection is not that great. Last year I've streamed quite a lot uh, because I had a very good internet connection. I lived at a different place and I have to say that my streams were the best stealth payday to streams on Twitch. So if you want to see those, I would really appreciate if you consider supporting me on Patreon. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to share it with your friends because good people need to watch good videos. Thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye-bye.